Welcome to Flight Test. I'm David. I'm Josh. So if you guys have been tuning in, you saw that recently we got some new motors and some new props from good friends of Zor, and we had to test them out in a pretty epic way with a kayak. So today we're going to put them in the hovercraft and uh, see what she'll do. Got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. So we got a new package here from Zor. It's not gonna work. <laughs> so we've currently been uh, putting this little project on hold, which is our hovercraft. And the reason behind that is our good friends at Zor hooked us up with some really cool custom made props and motor setup. So this is the, uh, I believe the props and motors for our nacelles, you know, the thrust. And I can't wait to open this up and see what we got. Oh, this is a nice box. Yes. Right? Ooh, you can't see. <laughs> Look at them. All right, so supposedly with the motor setup they gave us and these props, we're gonna be producing like 48 pounds of thrust per nacelle. So I don't think we're gonna have any more thrust issues. This, this looks so nice. <laughs> This is a five blade, 18 inch Rapalar from wow. our friends over at Zor. All right, now we've been holding off telling you guys anything about this. We also have another surprise that's gonna be here. I'm not too sure when, it's gonna be a little while. Yeah, maybe after Flight Fest yeah, at because, some point in time. Because those they're actually making overseas for us. But um, yeah. we're looking at a uh, new, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it, um, bag props or lifting props. Yeah. <laughs> Pressure and, props. <laughs> and those are gonna be, um, what were they? They were... They're eight blade. Yeah, eight blade, 31 inch. Yeah, they're they're amazing. Made for static pressure, which is what we really need. Now, the ones that they have already given us, um, we kind of went out on a whim and said, yeah, we might be able to make these work. And they do work, but we're looking for something that's gonna be a little bit more um, efficient, I guess is the best way to put it. In the pressurization category. <laughs> so, so we actually reached out to them told them exactly what we needed, and they came through and said, we'll make you new ones. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Like I said, they're top notch. Wow. Top, dude, look at that. The sheen, the shine. I kind of put one in place. Oh, they're too big. That's perfect. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Let's go, dude. That is awesome. Found it. Dude, this is sick. That's a winner! All right guys, so it's the moment of truth. Got all the wiring done for our new motors. We're gonna get them plugged in, and we're gonna test fire this thing and see how it does. So do you think these uh, new motors are gonna be enough? I think they will be. There's, there's a lot of power here. And if not, we'll figure something else. I said we have a dilemma. I really want to throttle this thing up. <laughs> oh, but all my toys are in the back. I see, I see all kinds of stuff flying yeah, everywhere if I do. Let me move the super heavy stuff and then we'll leave the other stuff for your drama. How's that sound? Okay. Hey, we found a new uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's no scrap on our desk. Holy cow. That was powerful. That was about three quarter throttle. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna be all right. So now I just wanna like wind everything up real lightly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll lightly get outside. Yeah, it's probably That's a incredible. good idea. But yeah, everything works now, I believe. So we should be good for a maiden test at some point. I think I think we're gonna paint first though, yeah. and then take it outside so we don't have to bring it back in again. Every time we take it outside, we always chance to do a little damage. And then also, I'm gonna go ahead. I have a unique idea. I think for doing the front details with those, uh, what are those, like, grading? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you want to call it. Some sort of louvers or something around the front. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and lose and grab those pieces, and then uh, on the back we'll put those on, and that will also help us identify if there's any airflow issues. Yeah, and I'm also going to uh, work on getting some uh, louvers or something for back here too. Perfect. All right. Sounds great, man. Good job. <laughs> All 
Alrighty guys, I'm just about wrapped up with the last of the wiring on the hovercraft. A couple more pieces that I need to put in, some switches. I'm gonna head over to my computer, sketch those up, and we're gonna 3D print them. So let's get at it. Okay, now that I've got it all designed, we're gonna take this, we're gonna send it over to our Bamboo Lab printer and get it printed. All right, and just like that, it's all printed. These Bamboo Labs are awesome. They, they print really fast. And um, this was my first time messing with two colors, so let's see how it turned out. I couldn't be happier, that looks great. All right, let's get this put together and get it out there and put it in the hovercraft. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, I'm just finishing up the last piece of the dash. And I have to say, this is just really neat. I just wanted to go as, you know, with as much buttons as possible. <laughs> but yeah, these are for the leaf blower motors. They have a turbo switch and it's like a momentary boost of power. So like if you get low sided or high sided or something, you can just tap on them and add a little bit more pressure to the bag and hopefully pop up over something. And then this is our main shut off. So it shuts off power to every part of the hovercraft in case things go wrong you just flip that down and it's as safe as could be I love it. So. <laughs> well it's kind of hard to work in this thing because everything is down below you so you have to sit in it to work on it and i have to cut a hole in the dash to put this guy in oh my gosh so uh yeah that's where i'm at <laughs> I hear this noise, I look over, there's like smoke rising up. It's not a good sign at the hobby shop here. Yeah, well, that's just burnt wood. Yeah. Power blade's a little dull. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Safety, elegance, cool factor. Yeah. And well, there's a certain startup sequence you have to do too to even turn this thing on. So it's not going to be like anybody can just walk up here and switch and go. So this is just like that Mad Max semi truck. Yeah, yeah. With a certain code to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So you got a startup sequence just like in an airplane. So this is the last of the wires I have to hook up. Okay. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, a little more comfortable to seat in. Yes. Okay, so first off, turn that on, turn this on. Lights came on, that's a good sign. Stereo. Okay, now everything's armed. I'd say it is. Did this guy arm? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, do it one more time. Oh my gosh, the, the, the sight of that. <laughs> okay, I don't want to juice those up too much because of... Uh, I can actually hear, exactly. like when it blew, I could actually feel the breeze come around and hit me in the face. Make sure those spool up. I don't know which one's which. I don't remember. Okay, that's front. Let's right. we'll start with, uh, yeah, we'll. Good. Okay, back one. Oh, I feel air like flowing everywhere. Yeah. Holy oh, yeah. cow. Yeah, it's moving air all right. Okay, now the bags. All oh, sense of security. You know it's funny, Dave. I was like, why is it leaning so much? Well, it is I you. Do weigh quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's almost there. Perfect. It should be pretty simple. I'll tell you the, the sight of seeing all three of those blades running was incredible. It's pretty insane. Yeah. Great yeah, work. I, I tied into the wrong thing. I tied in that would have shut off power to the front and rear um, I don't know what you want to call it, the main blower motors. Okay. But it wouldn't have shut off the airbag because they're on before that. I just hooked it up to the wrong wire. Gotcha. Easy fix. Piece of cake. <laughs> All right, guys. Today's the day. We're taking this big guy up to Pilot Institute so we can get it painted. Just drive it up like this or lift it up? Yeah, lift it up. Woo! Yeah. 
All right, so if you guys are new to flight tests here, this is Pilot Institute. Pilot Institute is basically a multi-purpose space. It's a place where we can teach people how to fly, we can take on big projects. We have a lot of new things that are going in here, and right now, one of them is a hovercraft. All right, so as you guys can see, we had a blast this weekend. We got new motors, we got some new cells all cut in, it's in a new location. Yeah, yeah, we've got it up here at Pilot Institute. This is gonna be its home when we're not using it, and we've got a lot more to do to it. Yeah, make sure you guys smash down the subscribe bell because Dave is going to be spackling this. We're going to be putting color on it. We're going to be getting this ready to bring the flight. Yeah, so make sure you guys stay tuned for our next episode on this. Um, after we get all the paint and stuff done, we're going to be driving it around Edgewater. See you next time.